Hi friends, this reflection is for the sixth Sunday of Ordinary Time. It's kind of funny that, you know, the time that I'm recording this video is a Valentine's Day weekend. And this is like the second to last weekend before we transition over to Lent. And most of us, ever since we transitioned, we went from, ever since the Christmas season passed, you know, retail, re well, speaking as from a retail standpoint they're just quick to switch over to valentine's day and what have you so yeah there's been that commercialization but i think that there's one lesson that we have we reflect on for this sun to this for this particular sunday is that the root of our faith is love and we do it through our charitable works of mercy through our actions ways to tell people ways to help people live out their faith as we look at the the book of sirach if you choose you can keep the commandments if you trust in god you too shall live to whichever you choose fire or water stretch forth your hand the book of sirach even continues with those who refuse to let lust master them who are quick to reconcile with their brother or sister and who obey and teach the commandments will enter the kingdom of heaven. So how do we go about this? The most important way we do this is to, is to let God, let us love God. And in turn, we share his love with others. Now, as we look at the Gospel of Matthew, we continue with the discourse of the Sermon on the Mount. And in this Sermon on the Mount, Jesus talks about, he, he, first of all, he affirms that he is not trying to abolish the law of the prophets. He Rather, he came to fulfill everything. And he also reaffirms the book of Sirach, that if you break the commandments, you will not enter heaven. But if you keep them, you will enter. You see, my friends, what I see here in this reading for the fourth, for the sixth Sunday of Ordinary Talk is that at the root of everything, I see this as an opportunity for us if we want to be true Christians, we must mean it with conviction. We must practice it with so much conviction that we can set the world on fire with the Holy Spirit. That's easier said than done, right? And in today's culture, it's so polarized. It is so jaded because Satan's influence. Look at what has happened with the Grammys recently. Where Sam Smith did something satanic and, you know, it was in full blooming. God only knows what's going to be like, you know, with our entertainment, especially for the kids that are coming up. Critical Race Theory infiltrating Disney and even groomers infiltrating Disney, period. We need to make a stand. We need to start reminding people to fear God because our final day is coming. When we will stand before God and give a testimony on everything we have done on earth. Friends, when we look at today's society and the state of the Catholic Church today, it's a mess. We have a president, first Catholic president since 1963, that is not living out the commandments, not living out God's law. Then we have two out of three Catholics who are like him. They don't accept the teachings. It's frustrating. I get it. And I've been guilty of being part of the whole frustration wagon where I could be, I could act like a 
a Bible thumper from the South by judging people. But that's not how you win hearts. You win hearts by love. And there are ways you can show you can show love. You show well. I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna go through the the love languages. Sorry. But I think if there's one concrete way, the first thing you can do to show love is to pray for those people. Jesus himself, you know, showed love. But the ultimate love he showed. The only the ultimate way he showed how much he loved us was when he hung on the cross for our salvation. He hung on that cross to save each and every one of us. And he came to this world to preach love. I think it's very fitting that recently... Burt Bacharach, one of the great musical writers of my parents' generation, passed away. And one of the iconic songs he wrote was, What the World Needs Now is Love. Now, my understanding is Burt Bacharach was not the most talented singer of all. But that song, he did write that song and somebody else covered it. And it did become a hit in the 60s. He wasn't far from the truth. And I can tell you that 90, I'm going to guarantee you, 99% of the love songs you hear on the radio, whether it's Valentine's Day or not, they miss the mark. They miss the mark because they, they, talk, they talk about love, you know, showing affection to others. Now, you know, I mean, if you're dating, I mean, well, make sure it's within the parameters of, like, you know, chastity and everything, what have you. But I feel like love songs kind of, like, I, I honestly think they're overrated. Especially if you listen to the wrong ones that that, that give you a, this, a, this definition of love. But God gives us a definition of love, and it's in the Bible. But at the heart of our faith, love is there. As long as we have love, at the heart of our, of our spiritual journey, we can inspire others. It's not going to be an easy task. But love is there. Just like when you pray the rosary. The first three virtues, the theological virtues, faith, hope, charity. The heart of those three theological virtues is love or charity. So friends, let us share God let us share God's love with others. Yes, God is love, but so are you. So share that with others now. God bless.